football is back after a long very short summer of going out to touch grass like everyone has always asked me to i'm happy that finally league football is back yeah 90 minutes of sweat skin or lack of it if you're a manchester united fan and the whole eight months there are about of waves of emotion from heartbreak to joy happiness you see for some of us our mood and mental health for the next couple of months is going to be decided by a couple of millionaires in 90 minutes this is why a lot of us are probably going to be experiencing renewed relationship with our therapists but you already know this and i'm not here to talk to you about that i know you remember the dreaded VAR when it came in and people were going crazy about oh this might be the end of traditional football as we, as we know it well VAR is killing the game VAR is good VAR is bad VAR has always divided the fan base even footballers VAR has always been a divided topic in the footballing world but what if i tell you that this season there's going to be a robot with 12 eyes deciding whether your knee is going to be betraying you and how often that will be happening yes meet the new semi-automated offside technology or SAOT if you rather call it that but for some reason i feel like the acronym sounds like the name of a rogue ai in a sci-fi movie you know the kind that could start by referee matches and then graduate to mind control and then turn it into like running the whole world kind of business but before we go crazy about that they here is how it works. See, every Premier League stadium now has 30 high speed optical tracking cameras. Yeah, I'm not talking about your regular broadcast cameras. These cameras are positioned high above the pitch, just silently hunting for movement like football loving snipers. They track 10,000 3D data points on every player's body head, shoulders, knee, toes, and yeah, even that one rogue hair sticking out your head. And as for the ball, that gets special treatment. A sensor inside it sends its attack location 500 times per second. <laughs> That's a lot of times per second. That's half a thousand updates every single second. See, every time it passes mid, the semi automated offside technology faces reality in a perfect 3D model. It knows exactly where everyone is. It's basically like pausing the game and taking a screenshot. It knows exactly where everyone is, when the ball left the foot, and which body part is farthest forward. Then with cold mechanical precision, it whispers, well, updates, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing it whispers. Let's, let's go with whispers. That sounds more intriguing. It whispers, well, <laughs> well, first goal's third leg is 2.7 centimeters past the last defender. Go tonight. That would send the fans crazy, wouldn't it? Let's just say, for instance, Bruno beats one or two players in the middle, then Sesko pulling off, and just gives him a true pass. And then Tesco seeing this kind of pass is like, damn, this is a beautiful ball. Kind of like the one Rooney made to Van Persie. You remember that one? Remember that one on the volley? You know, he sees it and he's like, oh, oh my God, this is such a beautiful pass. The things I would love to do to this ball with my feet. And as he anticipates that, he gets, you know, his toddler gets, you know, excited. And you can imagine the referee walking out to the field like, uh, after I review, the red player was offside because uh, his uh, third leg. <clears throat> is um <clears throat> how should i put it it's third leg was his third leg was uh a couple of centimeters past the last defender i mean and this is an imaginary example i wonder how much trouble in when is gonna be in because that man has a lot of future behind him he has to be saying like maybe 20 centimeters of the last defender or him just not to be offside but even though it is an automated offside technology there's still an human aspect to it see when the semi-automated technology has made a decision now officially a human VR confirms the decision which i find adorable because <laughs> let's be honest it's not like this reference has been capable consistent or perfect in their use of VR in the past so what is the referee going to do tell the computer it's wrong like they're going to go uh, sorry semi-automated technology but uh my human eyeballs and big gut feeling is otherwise Maybe I would rather spend the next five to six minutes doing green and red lines like, like primary school kids just to decide if it's offside. No, see, the VAR is basically there to press the button label, <laughs> yes, master, and send verdict to the big screen. Now, is this good or is this bad? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, but I know it has an impact on the speed of the game. A couple of times last season, two games that are meant to last for 19 minutes go for. 100, 120 minutes simply because the VR was taking too long making decisions we are busy drawing lines deliberating oh is he offside did he touch it did he touch it here uh which part of the sleeve did he touch oh was his hand there was it was it not was it was his butt two way back are we drawing the line at his toe or at his hair or something like that like it took too long for VR to make decisions sometimes we're waiting for three five minutes for a decision to be made see the semi-automated of that technology means fewer awkward weights and less no biting silence on the flip side of that it means you probably have instant anger 
or rage when your goal gets denied or cancelled which is good we don't want to be just there standing and waiting and looking at the screen in the stadium and everyone waiting is it going to be a goal or is it not going to be a goal and then you're there three minutes five minutes just walking around and then it gets cancelled anyway and you have to go all over again and then you've already wasted a lot of time and you've lost momentum see and the good thing about this is it is also highly accurate if you remember the old offside lines which i'm sure you do they relied on humans guessing the exact kick point the exact time that the ball left the player's foot and also matching it with the player on offside's run but now that is out of the question because now with the addition of the ball sensor and body tracking the guess what part of it is gone the machine knows remember i told you earlier that the ball has sensors that sends feedback 500 times every second see when there is an impact on the ball the machine would know okay this was the time the ball was hit and it will be able to correlate that to the movement of the player that is supposedly offside this is a huge advantage in removing all the guesswork that has been involved in the previous decision making but let's not forget this is just the start of it there were a lot of people that were also on the VR side when it started it wasn't necessarily good but it also wasn't that bad and as for what to expect in the future from this technology well here is where it gets fun or terrifying depending on your mood or how you take this Today, it's just semi automated outside. Tomorrow, the tech could be tracking, diving, shed pulling, tackles, or the exact moment your keeper blinks his eye or something. Imagine this the referee blows the whistle, stadium lights dim, a giant holographic referee materializes above the pitch, blowing like the all seeing eye of football. You know, maybe it's the football god that we've all been paying through. And he goes, well, player number nine, illegal to opposition, goal denied. And honestly, I am here for it. If you are going to hand over football to robots, we might as well make it dramatic. If this has been a little rambling and too long for you to keep up with, here is the summary of the gist. The Premier League has installed 30 high speed cameras in every stadium, all feeding data to a computer that can track 10,000 data points on each player's body. Yeah, you heard that. 10,000. You know what that means? That means the hair on your calves has a digital footprint. At this point, it's basically like Big Brother. They're watching every single move you make. Everything that is happening on the football pitch is being tracked and gathered as data as it is happening. There is no way to hide. And most importantly, there should be no way or excuses for wrong decisions to be made. Is this good for football? Time will tell. I know there's a lot of people that still love the traditional way of football. But some people are willing to embrace the change for better appreciating and less error. My argument to that would be, well, if you are willing to pay millions on this technology that costs a lot and you will keep having to maintain, why have you not instead that similar amount of money into referees? Maybe that will make the job a more lucrative opportunity for people that can actually be competent and make better decisions. But also we cannot exclude the fact of the human error. For different reasons, personalities, moods or situations that can lead to human error in a particular game and as we all know humans we aren't perfect no matter how good or how well paid a referee is they are going to make mistakes it is just part of the job and it's just part of being human we make mistakes and we are not perfect so like it or not i believe the robot referee is yet to stay and this is only the beginning of more technologies being introduced into football to make it a better experience i mean with this semi-automated of that technology it is going to be faster sharper and fastness emotional than any human which is probably why we would never forgive it and we will always complain about it. Because as fans, when decisions don't go our way, of course we love to blame it on anything, including the referee, even if it was the right decision. Well, until we see what the future brings, the semi-automated technology will keep watching, quietly, unblinking, waiting for the exact moment your bootlace will betray you. Oh, and yeah, it will be offside. If you do not mind, let me know what you think about this technology in the comments and how you think it will revolutionize football or, or not. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.